So I think Microsoft kind of got tired of Meta hogging all the attention with Llama 3, and last night they released Phi 3. So we don't have weights yet, but we do have their tentative benchmarks, and we have some really great information on how it's built. So what did Microsoft release? They released Phi 3 Mini, a 3.8 billion parameter model that roughly rivals the performance of Mixtral 8x7b, and they released Phi 3 Medium, which is a 14 billion parameter model trained on a few more tokens and this has a really impressive MMLU score. And the most impressive thing for me that I think kind of came out of nowhere is the fact that yes, obviously it's much more performant than Phi 2, but it's also handily outperforming Llama 3 Instruct in a few comparisons of selected tasks. Now, what selected tasks are, we'll get to that just a bit later, but the fact is it's really interesting to see how well this model is performing. And it's great to see that Microsoft is still keeping up. It seems like the only real loser here is really Mixtral with their Mixtral 8x22b model. I'm kind of slowly falling behind. So how is this model different from Phi 2 and Llama 3? Is Microsoft's trend of creating really small, really capable models going to continue? And what does this mean for the future of local LLMs, especially when it comes to competition with companies like Meta, who arguably have the most GPUs, and if they're just giving away things like Llama 3, what does it look like for the future of GPT-4, which is also owned by Microsoft, ironically. So welcome to AI Flux, let's get into it. So this model is really interesting, and what I really like about Phi 3 are what is created downstream. So for instance, Moondream is basically entirely based on Phi 2, and it's a CV model. And what's interesting is you don't really see that as much with Llama or Mixtral based models. And I really like the idea of Microsoft pushing to get as much performance from as small a model as possible going forward, not necessarily going for the most performant in general, which we used to see with very large models. For instance, when like 128 billion parameter models like Quen were coming out, um, and we saw some really interesting ones from the Saudi research institutes as well. But what do we know about Phi 3? So for instance, what we know is Phi 3 is going to be a game changer for the GPU poor. So basically people who either can't afford the Grok API or with Llama 3 can't afford to run it on 74090s or an equivalent amount of H100s. For instance, I have a friend who's been running this on 7 4090s. I've been running this on my 4 4090 system, and you'd be lucky to get over 10 tokens per second with full precision with Llama 3, which is kind of a bummer, but then again, Grok is so cheap. It, that's a whole other really interesting use case, and Matthew Berman actually has a great video on that, so check that out if you want to see Grok running Llama 3. So the highlights of this model are really interesting, just because it's so different from what we've seen before from Microsoft, and then also from Meta and Mistral. Phi 3 Mini is a 3.8 billion parameter model, which also was run experimentally on 7B and 14B models. What's interesting with Microsoft is they've found some really curious ways, and I don't think it involves brute forcing, of figuring out like the exact sweet spot of their models that trends on the lower side. So basically optimizing for as small a model as possible with the best performance they can get. And what I think is most interesting here, aside from the performance that it's nearly matching Mixtral 8x7b and GPT 3.5, is that in theory there are versions of this that can run in long context up to 128k uh, token windows with long rope, which is uh, something cool as well. What's also really interesting, especially given in the era of Llama 3 we're in, is that Phi 3 actually uses the exact same architecture as Llama 2 and actually the identical tokenizer, which is pretty interesting. Again, I think Microsoft's advantage here is purely just from data and understanding how to filter it, which ironically is also what Meta claims is what gave them such a huge leg up with Llama 3. So for instance, um, they use heavily filtered web data and synthetic data. They also have kind of an internal data optimal regime for training, which doesn't really mean much to most of us, but basically all that means is they have better quality tokens coming out and they DPO'd it to be safer. So that's kind of the, the biggest difference between this and Llama. Um, they're pushing it to be safer. You know, it's a weird thing to say because Microsoft isn't necessarily a larger company than Meta in terms of the number of users of these models but I think that's more of a branding thing than a, something they're actually concerned with. There's actually a quantized version or a 4-bit model that should take less than 2 gigs of RAM. For instance, you can run this right now on an iPhone 16 and get 12 tokens per second, which is more tokens per second than my 4090 machine gets running Llama 3, which is kind of funny. It doesn't do well with factual information, which for me poses very large questions as to how usable this model is, especially when comparing it to Llama 3. And it's kind of the one thing that I would question when you compare this to Llama 3 Instruct, which is if it doesn't do well with 
factual information, then are these benchmarks really even accurate then, right? Like if the benchmarks themselves aren't built on factual information, there's a really valid question to be had. And basically all we have for now, I would like to show you guys a demo, but really all we have for now is just their paper, which I'll link below to Hugging Face. So there's no Hugging Face card yet. They have not released the weights yet. Uh, there's actually not even a way to directly interact with this model. We're just going off of what Microsoft has told us. So obviously this is going to be a little bit biased in terms of Microsoft's favor right now. And the big takeaways here for me are basically that it's funny that Microsoft and Meta basically applied really similar optimization techniques and, and just strategies in terms of making these models better. But I think what we've found, and we're still trying to see, even though we understand that the chinchilla optimal theory is kind of flawed, um, which in certain cases means that more data can actually result in better performance, but what we're seeing with these models is it's showing that you can't necessarily compute your way out of a mediocre data set, even if it's much better, and even if it's based on synthetic data and very accurate web data that in theory you've curated. And I'm not necessarily holding my breath with this model because Microsoft severely overpromised the capabilities of Phi 2 as well. So hopefully there's not a repeat of this with Phi 3, but we'll just have to wait and see. And I think Mira probably has the spiciest take when it comes to Phi 3, which in theory is based on this paper. They provide a bunch of benchmarks and obviously these are probably real. If anything, this is more of a question of the validity of these benchmarks than these performance comparisons at this point, and this is obviously a, an evolving topic over time. But Miro basically says here that um, 5.3 Mini obviously matches Mixtral 8x7B and GPT 3.5. Now what's interesting is I mentioned that there was also a 7B and 14B version of 5.3 Mini. And there are questions as to whether or not those are actually more capable. In that graph I showed earlier, they don't actually cite which version was being used here. They do in the paper, but here I think for deliberate reasons they don't. Theory, if these numbers are accurate and if these benchmarks hold up, and we'll, really we'll just have to wait and see if the entropy of these benchmarks stands with time But by the time we get weights. But what's interesting is it looks like the 7 billion parameter model could in theory match the performance of Llama 3 8B in not every benchmark, but many of them, and I think that's actually pretty cool. Now, one thing that Microsoft again did with Phi 2 was clearly overfit on evals, and this is something that's getting more and more popular, and it's interesting because when Meta created their own benchmark, it didn't actually necessarily highlight that only Llama 3 was doing better, and they focused on practical tasks that in theory didn't scale linearly with a bunch of other models. If, if anything, it showed that there's actually a significant amount of variance among these models among all kinds of categories of applications and that just asking it to do pros and asking it to do kind of rote tasks um, and certain even agentic tasks isn't necessarily something that always promulgates or describes the best value. So for me, I think we really just have to wait for human evals to see how this actually works out. They did not include that in the paper. So synthetic benchmarks for me are slowly starting to have less and less validity and less and less value when you're at least evaluating these, especially when you can't directly interact with the model, which again is why uh, there's not gonna be a demo today. Cause like literally no one has access to this model right now, unless people, instead of people except for people who like work at Microsoft on this full time. And frankly, I think even if these benchmarks are a little juiced, the, the biggest feat of this, um, of this era, right? Or if you say of Q2 2024, or whatever you wanna call it, I don't think is actually meta beating a GPT-4 class model, but it's doing it with, you know, an overtrained 70B model that you can probably run on consumer hardware with ease. So again, I think Microsoft probably isn't going to get enough credit for making all this run on relatively available consumer hardware um, and even on mobile devices. So again, um, we're just going to have to wait and see with this model. I'm hoping that this release is kind of different from Phi 2 in that they don't just totally juice the numbers again. But yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think this model will be good? Do you think it will actually beat Llama 3 8B with its 7 billion parameter version of Phi 3 Mini. Um, do you use Phi 2 right now? Do you like using coding models that are kind of built on top of Phi 2? Please let me know in the comments below. We always have great discussions there. And yeah, as always, uh, I hope you guys learned something watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you in the next one.